Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to be doing a first impression video slash review on the Lancome Tante Edoll Foundation Stick. And I have it in the color 460 Suede. But before I apply the foundation, let's quickly prep our skin. So I'm hydrating my skin using my Fresh Black Tea Age Delay Firming Serum. I absolutely love this because of how fast absorbing it is. Then I'm going in using the Lotus Youth Preserve Eye Cream and placing that right on the orbital bone to prevent dark circles as well as wrinkles. Gotta keep those away. Then I'm using the smallest amount of my Milk of Magnesia as a primer, mainly on the areas where I normally get really, really, really oily. And now that we're prepped and primed, let's apply the foundation. And I will be talking through the rest of this video, so hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so as of right now, I can definitely tell that the foundation is not a perfect match for my skin tone because as you can see, it's a lot more of an orange or reddish undertone versus me, I'm like super golden and yellow. Um, I think you guys are able to see it on camera. If not, then just take my word for it because I can definitely see a huge difference from my face and my neck and the rest of my face that, that has not been covered in the foundation so um yeah the color is a little bit off it's a little bit darker so I'm just gonna drag it down to my neck um just so I can test out the foundation but it definitely doesn't match my skin tone at all like the undertone is completely different but hopefully when I do my contour and concealer and all of that, um, everything works out. So I hope it's showing pretty well on camera. Let me add just a little bit more on my forehead. But as far as the coverage, this foundation has really beautiful coverage. Um, it definitely covers... So far, it's looking more like a satin finish, not really matte, but it blends out really well, and I do like the coverage. I just wish I had the perfect color match. So this is pretty much the foundation on its own. I'm just going to continue to just drag it down my neck a little bit. It goes on really nicely. It's very easy to apply. It blends really nicely into the skin. The coverage is definitely there. You can build this coverage if you wanted to, but I think this is enough coverage since I am gonna add concealer and I'm gonna add contour, highlighter, setting powders, all of that. So it's really pigmented. It does have good coverage. You can wear it as a foundation. You can use it as a concealer, you can highlight or contour with it. And it's oil free, transfer free, it dries to a ultra matte finish. So we shall see about that in just a few minutes here. What I am going to do, although the color isn't perfect and I'm not really happy with the color, I am happy with the coverage. And actually it does look pretty matte after all, yeah. I still see a little bit of like shine or more of a dewy um, look, not really dewy, more like a satin look to my skin, but I believe that's because I did use the Fresh Black Tea Age Delay Firming Serum. I think this is what's giving me that extra little satin or glow to, the, to my skin. Um, I'm pretty sure the foundation is really matte because it seems like it would be. And that's what they claim that it is, but I feel like the mixture of the serum and the foundation gives me a more of a satin finish. 
I'm gonna go ahead and actually apply everything else on my concealer, setting powders, and finish my entire face. And I will be back to show you guys what everything looks like. Alright, so this is my finished look. Um, as you can see, it ended up blending very well with the rest of my skin tone. The foundation melted into my skin once I started putting like concealer and powder over top. I didn't even notice that it was the wrong color. So, so far so good. Um, a few things that I really like about this foundation, I wrote them down. That way I don't forget. Number one is that it's good for traveling. As you can see, it's like super duper small. So you can just throw it in your purse um, if you're someone that's on the go or if you are going to be reapplying this. Number two is that you can use it for different things. As I told you guys before, you can use it as a foundation, you can use it as a concealer, you can use it as a stick um, contour or a stick highlight. All you have to do is just get different colors and you can use it for different things. Probably not budget friendly, but it's definitely convenient. The third thing is that it is a matte finish. I am super duper oily, so I can definitely appreciate a good matte foundation. I also love that it is full coverage. Um, I do have some acne scars and I do have some dark spots on my face. And I love a full coverage foundation. I don't think I've ever really liked a... Um, sheer to medium coverage foundation so full coverage is kind of my thing. Another thing is that it is oil free so that's awesome for oily skin and I know a lot of people don't really like foundations that are not oil free so if you're looking for an oil free foundation definitely try this one out. And it's also very easy to apply. Like I showed you guys earlier all you do is remove the top, twist it up and just apply it on your face and you can also blend it with your beauty blender or just a really dense brush would be what I would recommend. So there's just a few things that I don't really like about the foundation. I don't like the feel of it on my skin. If I was to apply it on my skin I would have to blend it out almost immediately because I don't like how it feels on my skin. Um, It's not heavy or anything. It's very lightweight. It's just the texture of it on my skin. I don't know. It just does something to me. So that's one thing. Another thing is I that color doesn't match me really well. So I would have to go out and purchase another one, which I'm probably not going to do. Another thing is that I honestly don't think that this is going to last me a really long time. Um, usually Styx foundations, usually, I don't know, I use them up really quickly because I like to apply a lot just to get that really good coverage I'm going for. And I feel like once you swipe it a few times, um, a lot of the product just disappears but other than that it's definitely worth trying out I am going to be wearing it all day today um, it is currently 121 I'll probably be back in a few hours to show you guys what my skin looks like and keep in mind that I'm very oily acne prone skin so hopefully that helps and if you guys are interested I will put a link for my hair in the description box below Hey guys, welcome back. It is now 6.15 or 6.16, whatever, you get the idea. And I just got back home. I was outside. It was super hot today. I ran some errands. I was at the post office. I went grocery shopping, so I got a lot done. And I cooked also, so I got a lot done. But I have not touched my makeup since I applied it earlier, this, earlier today, which was around 1. This is 5 hours later. Um, and this is what the foundation looks like on and I'm really oily around my nose area which is so annoying to me. It took everything in me to not touch up my makeup today. So far I don't hate it but I'm not like super impressed with it. It does last pretty well. If you're gonna touch up your face it's gonna be okay. But for me, that's actually trying it out and letting you guys know how it lasts um, and without touching up, I couldn't deal with it on a daily basis. Like if I was at work and I wasn't able to like touch up, it would literally drive me crazy. So I would use it on a short day where I'm not going to be going to too many places or I'm not go doing too much. Or if, it was, or if it was a little bit cooler outside, maybe. But since it was hot today and... I'm really oily. I don't 
thing like the combination of everything just I feel like didn't work for me today so I'm gonna give it a try again maybe on another day and see how I feel about it or if anything changes um but so far it's okay like I wouldn't like repurchase it as of right now I wouldn't repurchase it